Now, put down your phone and talk to people. It could make you happier. And that's the hope of a cafe owner in Cottingham who set aside a table for strangers to strike up a conversation. Apparently, it is a growing trend, as Philip Norton reports. A simple table and chairs in a cafe. A place to have a brew, a sandwich, read a paper or check some emails. But this isn't any ordinary table and chairs. Hello. I was like treating you. How are you? How are you feeling today? No, I'm not from here. As you might be able to tell, I'm actually from Australia. I'm just about to head to the RSPCA to donate some stuff. Clearing out the loft, it's a good cause. This is a chatter and natter table at Blonde's Cafe in Cottingham. It's basically for people to just come and talk to each other. It's just about getting people interacting with each other. Far too many people spend too long on the phones and this is just about old fashioned interaction. It's not particularly about making friends for life or anything. It's just about coming and talking to people in a comfortable environment where you can just get on. It's all part of the Chatty Cafe scheme, a national idea to create spaces where people can talk and chat. The idea being it will combat loneliness and you could have a huge impact on someone's day. So now all I need to do is wait for someone to join me. Those in the cafe today thought it was a great idea. It can literally save a life, you know, somebody can come in feeling blue and sometimes just one sentence, if it's the right sentence, that you say to somebody, just all of a sudden you che cheers them up. There's a lovely way of getting over that loneliness that a lot of people could face in life. I think it's a nice little idea about the sounds of it. It can be hard to strike up a conversation with someone, especially if you don't know them, and I think that's a nice thing. If you see that, you, it's like a safe, comfortable space where you're like, OK, I could, I could have a nice conversation, I could make a friend here today or something. The idea is catching on, a novel way for people to break the ice. And it took a while, but finally someone pulled out the chair to talk to me. <sighs> oh, you dropped your pen. <laughs> ah, well, another coffee it is then. Philip Norton, BBC Look North, Cottingham. Yeah, Philip had to uh, do that story because he's had so much experience of uh, sitting in uh, coffee shops on his own. Well, uh